sorry guys, this is just about the cutest thing I've ever seen. I put a blanket up here for Nancy, because she tends to like to sleep up here in the crepe. I don't know why, but she does. So I put this up here, and she's up here, and Mama's right here. And I got to take Little Man outside to go play for a little bit, because it's actually pretty, it's really beautiful out. Spring is definitely in full force in Michigan, so that's awesome. But I'm going to show you guys this. I think we have a storm coming in here soon, or maybe later tonight, so I'm going to try and get them out as much as possible today, so I do have to go to work. Um, yeah. Hi. Why are you so adorable? Alright. Alright guys, look. This is our mulberry tree, I believe that's what it's called. So that's during the bottages, because everything tastes so good, and we salads and other stuff in a way. Um, my favorite bush ever is the flowers are already pretty much blooming. Check it. It's so beautiful. I just love the, how the pink pops out with the green. It just looks so good. Also, I don't know where the hell these came from, but <laughs> we have had, I don't know, I think these are daylilies. We have had these all over the place. There's a couple in my mom's garden. She did not plant those. <laughs> I think those are the squirrels doing. <laughs> also, we usually have like a big like bush or something. I don't know what the hell it is. So everything's starting to bloom. I love spring. Spring so much guys. So spring is in full swing. Okay. I gotta play with little man. Right there. It's kinda of chilly, but the sun feels good. Hi. Alright, so you guys in a little bit. There's Nancy. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Something that's super inevitable during the springtime is rain. So this is what it looks like currently outside. I don't know if it's still raining out, but I think we're gonna go out without a jolly ball because I just do not wanna stay out any longer than we have to because the backyard is D-E-A disgusting. There's Sid. I love you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go grab the schnapps dog. Um, it was storming this morning when I first woke up about 6 o'clock, so he was freaking out along with Mama, and apparently Nancy and Sid. So, on the plus side, the storms have surpassed. Doesn't look like it's raining, but it's still really disgusting in the backyard. So, see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, guys. You know when they say that it pours, it, or when it rains, it pours? Yeah, we've been having that the last, like, two weeks. And, um, yeah. So... I would like some prayers and some well wishes for Papa P's family. He just found out that he lost one of his sisters. Um, unfortunately, I never got to meet this sister. Um, so, yeah, she had cancer, unfortunately, and they just found out that they, she passed away. So, prayers and well wishes from Papa P's family. So, yeah. So, it's Friday. We made it, guys. Um, thank God. Because... <laughs> Like I said, it's been pouring around this house a lot the last two weeks. And so, me and Mama P have decided to go do something pretty, well, fun. Tomorrow's Earth Day, guys. And I want to know what you guys are planning to do for your Earth Day. And uh, we have a really huge issue. And I am a global warming believer. And I love science. And I just, I, I've always loved science. Um, I wanted to be a nurse, and actually, in taking my classes for nursing, I took zoology, I learned all that fun stuff about animals, and I just, I love science. I love science and math. Um, so we're, there is going to be a March for Science tomorrow, for Earth Day, on the Lansing Capitol tomorrow. So the same place that we went for the Women's March, we are going for a Science March tomorrow, and we're going to go with Mama Carol and Mama Jan, and my mom, Mama P. So I'm really excited. It'll be fun, I'm hoping. I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. Um, I'm really excited that I get to do something fun and impactful for Earth Day because I really, the only thing I've really done is maybe planted something on Earth Day, Earth Day, which seems really small to me, but I know is actually pretty big, but um, yeah, I get to go do something like that tomorrow and I'm really excited and oh, my voice will be heard. <laughs> So, I'm definitely going to take you guys with me tomorrow. I thought this was going to be a short vlog, because, yeah. Um, but I'm really excited to take you guys with me. So, I'm going to make myself some breakfast. Oh, happy Friday. 
Good morning, guys. Happy Earth Day, guys. How are you going to be spending your Earth making this beautiful planet that we're on a little bit better? How? <laughs> Let me know, guys. Today, I am uber excited. Um, we're going to the March for Science, which is something so perfect for today. And I figured that's why they... Uh, they planned it today, but let me show you guys the poster. Okay, I'm almost done. I've got a little bit more coloring to do, and I'll show you guys the finished product. But here we go. Ta-da! It's actually an American proverb, and it pretty much just that we do not inherit this planet. We're borrowing it from our children. So if you want our world to be fine now, or then for our children, then make it better now. So I like that saying. I found it, and I thought it would be perfect to put on a sign. So yeah, we're going to take that with us. Super excited. Can't wait. Um, we're gonna go do some laundry, and then <laughs> I'm gonna finish up my poster, stay home and finish up my poster, and then yeah. <gasps> Alright, see you guys in a little bit. There it is, guys! What is this? Don't ask. Yep, she's in the laundry. Where's your uh, stuff? Right here, you hanging. Got? Yeah, I've only got kitty oh, hey. stuff. Birds flying high, you know how I feel Sun up in the sky, you know how I feel Reeds drifting on by, you know how I feel It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me And I'm feeling good How about you? Butterflies all having fun, you know what I mean. Sleep in peace when day is done, that's what I mean. And this old world is a new world and a bold world for me. And we're feeling good, yeah. Sent on the pond, you know how I feel now. Freedom is mine, and I know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for us. And we're feeling good. <laughs> steadfast stewardship. May the four winds remind us over and over again that our creative minds, our open hearts, our clear voices will never ever be silenced by a culture of ignorance. May our father sun and our grandmother moon act as beacons to lead us toward universe.
universal truths. And may the Great Spirit, who speaks to each of us in our own way, make something perfectly clear. This is our country. We will always, always, always be free. We will continue to guard and protect our Mother Earth and all her gifts, including our shelter, our sustenance, her air, her water. And for those of us who are gathered here, what keeps us going every day is Mother Earth's everlasting mystery. This is up to all of us, individually and together. Where there is light in the soul, there is beauty. Work to do together. It's a sad fact that things are getting worse and worse for science. We have united to change that. We march because science affects everyone, regardless of nationality or political party. We unite to advocate for science. Without science, our future is at risk. Science protects our water, our air, our lives, our planet, and awakens our minds. We cannot allow the silencing of scientists and the assault on the critical work of scientific agencies. Good afternoon, Lansing. All right, before I get started, I got three questions for you. Number one. Who believes in science over silence? And who believes we need more science in society, not less? And who believes that we need science and scientists leading this society? I want to tell you, I want to tell you a little bit about how science brought me here. I mean, literally brought me here. Not just in my car. But the reason that my family is in the United States is because my father, he was a son of a vegetable salesman and an illiterate mother on a fourth floor apartment overlooking the fish market in Alexandria, Egypt. This was a man who didn't realize that the life that he would lead would be very, very different than the one that he had before him. And that was because he made good on a set of educational opportunities that were given to him. And he realized that he loved science and that that science could fundamentally change his life and in 1978 he immigrated to this country to do a phd at wayne state university i was raised by him and my stepmother she was one of the first tenured professors in engineering at kettering university in flint And in this household with Muhammad and Jackie, I realized that I loved two things more than I loved anything else. And those were people understanding who they were and the challenges that they faced in their lives and the hopes and the aspirations that brought them to believe that their tomorrow could be better than their today. And I also realized that I love science. Today. As Sarah told you, I'm a science teacher. How many teachers do I have out there? people out there can thank a teacher for being out there right now. Yeah! I've been a science educator more than half my life, so I'm pretty sure there's no way I can stand here in front of you and not put some serious schooling out there for you. But I'll try and step back a little bit and make it a little bit fun. Um, Sarah told you, I'm really here because I believe in the future. In fact, I've spent my whole life planning for the future and working for the future, working with my students. And because I believe in the future so much, I'm going to talk to you today about Isaac Newton. Yep, that's the one, that apple. Good afternoon, Lansing. Let me tell you, it is so good to see so many scientists, science enthusiasts, 
and concerned citizens standing here today in celebration and defense of science and scientific progress. Yeah! yeah! As we are all rallying here today, thousands of others, if not millions, are gathered in more than 600 cities around the world. In countries such as China, South Africa, Kenya, Argentina, France, England, and even Bulgaria. Today's Global March for Science will take scientists' activism to a new level. Unprecedented, says sociologist Kelly Moore, an expert on the intersection of science and politics at Loyola University Chicago. This is the Thank you all so much for taking time to come here today. I want to talk about openness in science. This is something we don't always think about, but it's crucial to promoting successful science that serves society. With open science, we learn which medical drugs are safe and effective. With open science, we learn in our water is poison. With open science, we learn who's polluting our air. And with open science, we gain access to new technologies like the World Wide Web. Now, open science means many things to me. It means saying who is funding your research. It means making your data and your methods available to others. It means welcoming a diverse array of people into the scientific profession. It means working with citizen groups on research projects. Watched mighty glaciers cab into the ocean and observed firsthand dwindling glacial rivers. Polar bears are important no, because the fate of humanity is in its with that of polar bears. Throw your sign at me, lady. Huh? Truly, so just throw your sign at me, lady. Whoa! Give me all six My knees are just sea ice to hunt seals on. Have to rip. Can no longer hunt those seals. 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 Can that will be a direct consequence of climate change due to increasing levels of CO2 mm -hmm. in the atmosphere, which yep. traps heat in our atmosphere, yep. preventing it from escaping out to space, yep. and consequently heating up our planet. It's called the greenhouse effect. Yeah, yeah. Now lots of people don't really know what a greenhouse is. So here's an example I like. So, we have already seen what an international mortgage market crash looked like in 2009, and our banking system I barely survived. With you global growth no, being fine. impacted, go. this will be a global housing problem. No. The question is not if, but when it will happen. Kind of getting redundant. Science yeah. helps us to see around the corner into the future, so that we can avoid and mitigate problems. Science insight helps us in our daily lives. Now there remain social justice issues which must be addressed. There will be political solutions which must be hammered out to apply the insights and findings of science in the service of humankind. Scientific solutions exist, and where they do not yet exist, they must be researched, discovered. There he is. Brought this little man out. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. Shoot, I'm gonna mess with him. Beautiful Sunday morning. And actually, it's not too chilly, but it is chilly enough that I got to wear a sweater. That's awesome. I'm fine with that. <laughs> and I actually think this might get me a little warm. So, little man is out here playing. Oh, look, Bryce, I gotta show you this. Favorite bush in the whole backyard is just like exploded with color. 
Look at this. Ah, oh, so beautiful. We've had this bush um, in this backyard since we moved here. We did not plant this, guys. And I just, oh, these pink flowers. I think I'm going to have to look them up and see what they are. I think we did at one point, and I just totally forgot what they were. <laughs> and his ball is still there. Because he's got to go back, probably. Um, I got here just down at 9 o'clock. Well, look, our berry tree is starting to bud. Getting some buds from all the berry tree. Loving it. I think I'm going to try and grow some grapes and some, well, we have crap tons of strawberries. Um, I might do blackberries, stuff like that. And I still have my tofu smoothie mix. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with that. Um, rocking my Jägermeister shirt from my days slinging alcohol. <laughs> Gotta love that. I actually do miss that. But yeah. Oh yeah, we lost some tree limbs too. I think a couple, like during the week we did, when we had those nasty storms, supposedly. Um, yeah, we lost these. These are nice looking. So I should probably get them picked up. Um, I figured out what I'm gonna get my mom for Mother's Day. I already took her to Pet Expo. Um, I know she doesn't watch the vlogs. So guess what? I'm gonna get her. It's a fire pit. It's like a little over a hundred dollars. It's actually a beautiful fire pit and so I'm gonna get her one of those. And we'll have all this wood to burn. <laughs> Hi! What's you doing little man? He's so cute. We used to have one but unfortunately her first shepherd that we had, Sergeant, broke it. <laughs> so hopefully we'll take a lot better care of it but I'm gonna get that for Mama P for Mother's Day. Hopefully she'll like it, because everybody can use it. So, alright. I think I'm going to take this jacket off. Holy crap. It feels great out here. I might take Stinker for a walk. I'm definitely going to go for a run, and actually I might go on the river walk. Um, show you guys our little piece of paradise here in, in town. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. Hey, man. <laughs> Mama's down there. Yeah, she's got to have a second turn. So we're done playing. We played for about 15 minutes. Hi! Hi! <laughs> that is in my lap. Um, I love living here. It is so beautiful out. And I'm sitting in the sun. And it's just so nice and warm. I'm not wearing any shoes. I know I, I complain and I moan about winter, but I complain and moan about summer too. And, you know, people have made jokes about that. People are messing and bitch about everything. Uh, you know, I love living in this state. And I love living in this town. And I keep telling myself, and when I was younger, after a trip to New York, I told myself I wanted to move there and I wanted to live in a big city, but nothing beats this. And I've really realized it the older I've gotten. Because we saw golden finch yesterday in our backyard. We have two different types of woodpeckers in our backyard. There's this really big one. It's just, he's beautiful. So, I mean, we have squirrels, and we have rabbits, and we have woodchucks, and it's just, I love this place, and I love this backyard because these dogs seem to really enjoy it, and they just love just sitting on a deck, and, ah, oh, and, you know, and, you know, it's just, it's so nice. And, I mean, I have my ultimate favorite season, and that's definitely fall, because, you know, pumpkin spice, Halloween, my birthday, stuff like that. Um, but I do like winter, and I have aspects of winter that I like. You know, I do like snow to a point. <laughs> I like making snowmen, and I actually like peppermint, so I like Christmas, and you know, stuff like that, and playing in the snow with schnapps and mama, and um, I just don't like the aspect of, you know, you know, having to drive in it, and uh, not being able to go for a run <laughs> some days because it's too cold, or it's too snowy on the roads, and nobody, shovels or sidewalk <laughs> but you know I, I do love winter and I love summer yeah it can get hot you know sometimes way too much but I love going swimming and I just love the thought of summer and the fun vacations you get to take and all the amazing pet sitting I get to do and stuff like that and so yeah hey, what's that? <laughs> so I do I love living in this state and I love this little guy I love mama and I just, I love living in this state. Mwah. Do you love living here? <laughs> He's been born and raised in Michigan. Literally. So, yeah. I'm gonna hang out with these little guys for a little bit out here. I don't know. He's yelling at his sister. 